everybody, how you doing? My name's Dave, and if you got a quick one about Blue Mangu, you can call me David Poo, the mobile music minstrel. How you doing? All right, Blue Mangu reached out to me, and they said, hey, Dave, we want you to check out our new multiband Haas Effect app and our new Oscilloscope app because we like your videos. And I said, wow, that's really flattering. Thanks. I would love to check them out. Now, I've struggled with some of Blue Mangu's apps in the past because I think they're really subtle. And, you know, I like big swooshy effects like everybody else, and sometimes the subtlety is lost on me, and sometimes I find it difficult to express how effective an app can be when it is subtle in a video such as this. Well, I have gotten my hands on multiband Haas effect. Now, I've been playing with this and I've found a really interesting use for it. So I'm gonna do a real short video today about using this cool effect. Firstly, they came out with this oscilloscope. Now, there are a few different oscilloscope apps out there and I know that, you know, Jakob Hack is, uh, really likes his oscilloscope, uses that in all his videos. I don't use one very often, but I do wanna comment quickly on this. I love, how beautiful this app is. And I also like how many modes it has and how many ways it has of displaying the information. I would say, I'm gonna keep this on the screen so you can see what's going on as I'm playing, but I would highly recommend this particular oscilloscope app to you if you are an oscilloscope person and that's something that you use to analyze your signal and stuff. This one has a, a bunch of cool uh, ways to look at the signal and, and I'll show you in just a second. So let's jump over to multiband Haas effect for a second. So what's going on here is, a Haas effect, what happens is, in order to create a, a stereo signal from a mono one, you split the signal into left and right, and you slightly delay one of the sides. And when you slightly de delay it, it sets everything out of phase, and it makes it sound like it's in stereo, okay? What Blue Mangu has done here is that they've given you control over four different frequency bands so that you can adjust them independently to adjust the wideness of the signal, okay? at these different points and how much it sounds stereo. And the other thing is, is they say, well, if you want to do it for like a bass, maybe you only want to make this the higher frequencies stereo so that the you don't lose the sense of bassiness uh, by splitting the stereo spectrum of the bass frequencies, okay? So what I've done here is I found that by oscillating through some of these uh, frequency bands, you get a really cool phasiness. Now, I like sounds that have motion. You'll notice that in my videos, I always throw a phaser or a chorus or something on the pad sounds because I want that kind of swooshiness, right? I love Leslie speakers. I love the old like Univibe guitar pedal and stuff like that. So I'm using a straight string sound here from Tal Uno LX, which is like a Juno emulator. I've taken the chorus that is usually on this sound off. So you're just hearing the oscillators and there you see it down below. How beautiful oscilloscope is. And let's just quickly show you some of the different ways. Of it's really, really nice. You can show it left and right. You show it just like the simple oscilloscope but it's a really pretty app and i don't use oscilloscopes hardly ever so you would know if you have more use for this than i do but this is my favorite of all of them because it's just so pretty and that's half the reason you look at it right okay so here with the multi-band so i've got the two middle bands are oscillating the uh, high mids are oscillating more quickly than the low mids and this is what it sounds like And it sounds kind of sickly, and I like that about it. Like, it's a little off-putting. But, you know, I also tend to, to gravitate towards sounds that are too smooth and, and too pleasing. And sometimes you got to leave somebody unsettled. So it makes you a little seasick. It's kind of cool. Okay. And you can hear that there's some weird phasiness, but it's not... When you do it with the Haas effect, it doesn't sound like a flanger. It doesn't quite sound like a chorus. It doesn't sound like some of the other more traditional effects. Then I threw it into FAC Alteza and got... And it gives you a really unique, uh, subtle, 
kind of change of effect than going with a phaser or a flanger or a chorus or some of the other effects that you're used to using in this context. So I just wanted to show off multi -bay, uh, this multiband Haas effect. I think it's really neat. Um, you know, I didn't think that this would be something that would appeal to me. And it really did, and it really fits into a, a, a slot that I don't have covered by other effects. I can do Haas kinds of effects with other apps, but um, doing it with the multiband thing, I think, really adds to how powerful it can really be. So, uh, hey, double thumbs up for Blue Man Goo's uh, multiband Haas effect and oscilloscope. They're just killing it lately with these really interesting releases. Uh, they've really carved out their own little corner of the iOS uh, app world and are really delivering some, some interestingly unique stuff. So thanks, Blue Mango. I really appreciate you reaching out to me and, and let me try this out and let me get my hands on it because this was really, really cool. <laughs> Yeah, that's really, really pleasing. So thanks, everybody. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please go check me out on Facebook and check me out on Twitter and check me out on Instagram. And I'm on Patreon where you can go and support these videos if you like this sort of thing. If you want to chat with me directly, you can always contact me or you can go to the Audio Buzz Forum because I hang out there a lot and flap my gums just like I'm doing here. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you again, Blue Mango, for these wonderful apps that you keep putting out. And I'll see you guys next time. All right, later.